Hello everyone, uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to be ranking all 23 Pixar movies ranked, uh, that's with the movie Soul that came out on Christmas Day last year. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Number 23 is Cars 2. Um, this movie I didn't really like. Um, it was just not my thing. It was kind of disappointing as well. Um, from the lead up to, sorry, from what was it? Uh, cars. Then we got this one, which was a little bit uh, well disappointing. Um, huge disappointment in the Pixar franchise. <laughs> Because uh, I'm a best fan of this franchise, and this just. No. I'm very disappointed in this movie. Um, uh, it wasn't really my thing, because um, it was disappointing. Didn't really find it as fun as I wanted it, but. Yeah. Number 22 is The Good Dinosaur. Um, how do I start this? Um, not my thing. Um, didn't really enjoy this movie. Didn't have fun with it. Just not my thing that I didn't like. Well, I yeah, I didn't like. Um, it was boring. Didn't have as fun as I wanted with it. Just a boring movie that I uh, despise. Well, not despise, but just don't want to watch again because <laughs> it disappoints me and I uh, don't want to watch it because it was kind of boring of watching it uh, and yeah number 21 is Brave uh, and so Brave I uh, didn't really like not my thing um, I mean people might like it I didn't, didn't have fun with it, just, it wasn't what I was expecting for this movie, I thought it could have been good, just wasn't, didn't have fun with it, not good, I just didn't find it as fun as I wanted with it, and entertaining wise, it wasn't really entertaining really, uh, well, people might uh, find it entertaining, but for me, it, it wasn't really entertaining. Um, just didn't really enjoy it as what I wanted with uh, this movie. Just not my thing. Uh, people might like it, but that's their opinion. And yeah. Uh, number 20 we have is Cars 3. Um, this movie was... It was fine. Didn't hate it. It, it. it was just fine. Um, not a big fan of it, but it was fine. Um, I just didn't uh, have as much fun as I wanted, but it was fine. I had some entertainment with this movie that I didn't with Cars Two. Um, but yeah, it was just it was fine. Um, it was just an alright movie. I mean, people might want to watch it. That's your opinion. You can watch it if you want. Uh, but my, but for me, um, that's not for me. Um, that's not my kind of movie to watch. And yeah. Number 19 is A Bug's Life. People might like it. That's your opinion. Um, but for me, no. I didn't like this. Um, it was just a disappointing uh, movie that I had not fun with. Um, I mean, it does have nostalgia to it. But, yeah. But yeah, Bugs Life was not what I was expecting. Because I thought it was actually going to be good. Um... But it wasn't really, um, just, I didn't have fun with it, 
if I'd like to say that. No, not my movie. But it was it was fine. I didn't hate it. It's what I like wanted. Um, but yeah. Uh, number 18, uh, to end off this franchise, is Cars. Yeah, this franchise is not good. And I have to say this. Uh, in my opinion, it's not good. I might get hate to it, but it's not for me. This franchise was not me. Uh, I mean, I grew up with uh, Cars 2. I know it's the worst. Well, it's not the worst, but it's like the not good Pixar movie. In my opinion, it's not number 23 but it does have a nostalgia but with cars this was another movie i watched when i was a kid and i loved it and i re-watched re it and no it, it was fine um back in my day i thought it was bloody fantastic but it's not I mean, I like the duo of uh, Mater and uh, Lightning McQueen. It was fine. But this movie was just not my thing. Just, I just didn't really like it, if that's the right word. But just not, eh, it was not good. I mean, people might like it, that's your opinion. But for me, um, Cars is just meh. And number 17 is Finding Dory. Um, this was disappointing. Because I am a massive fan of Finding Nemo. But this movie was... Um, just not my kind of movie that I enjoyed. Um... I just didn't really enjoy it, in my opinion. I just didn't really have fun with it. It was not really good. Well, it was it was fine, but I mean I liked some scenes in it. Uh, it was all right. It was fine. It was all right. Um. Number 16 we have is Monsters University. Uh, so this is the sequel to... Is it a sequel? Yeah, it is. No, but this is before Monsters, Inc. I don't know what it is, but Monsters University. Uh, I enjoy it. It was a good enough movie. Don't hate it. It was fine. I enjoy it. Good enough movie that I enjoyed. I uh, don't know what else people think about it. But for me, I enjoyed it. I find it fun to watch. Um, maybe people are in the same train as me that, I, that people enjoy it. I don't know. But I like it overall. I think it's a fun enough movie. Um, I mean, it's better than like Finding Nemo. So, God, no. No, it's not. Finding Dory, I mean, in like Cars and A Bug's Life and Cars 3 and Brave and A Good Dinosaur and uh, Cars 2. It's better than those. And I mean, it's good. I enjoy it. It was a fine enough movie that I enjoyed. And yeah. Uh, number 15 is Coco. Um, I enjoy it. I was really surprised by this movie. Um, because, like, these movies are, like, they're really good. This movie was fan. Really good. I really enjoyed this movie. Really surprised me. Just, I loved Coco. Um, people should 100% watch this movie because you will love it. I highly recommend this movie. You will love this. I love this. This is why. This is just a great Pixar movie that I highly recommend. I love Coco. It's a great movie. Yes, I think it's great. Because I enjoy it. I get indulged with this film. Like, I have... Well, I don't... God, no, I don't have nostalgia. But, like, 
I actually cried in this movie. Surprise! Well, Pixar usually makes me cry anyway. Because it's so powerful and beautiful. Like, this movie was just, was just amazing. Number 14 is Wally. 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 What do you like to call it? Um, this is the first movie where there's literally no speaking. Literally robot noises. It was actually the first, I don't even know if it was the first animation, but it involved real people. I mean, I don't know how that will get into it. Real people in Wally, an animation movie. Um, but Wally's a good movie. I enjoy Wally. It's, it's I mean, I never really grew up with this movie because I've never actually been a massive fan of Wally. But when I rewatched it, I'm a fan. I enjoy Wally. I think it's a great. Well, I think it's a great uh, animation movie, um, especially for Pixar. Pixar is just a fantastic animation company. But anyway, this movie is just absolutely amazing. I love Wally. Wally was just fan, fantastic. That I think people should one hundred percent watch Wally. Number thirteen is. A new release, well, a lot. no, it's not a new release, it came out last year, and that is Onward. Um, this movie was good, I enjoy Onward. It's a, it's an emotional movie, and you will understand why if you watch it. And I got, I cried through it, Kia, I cannot lie, I did cry, yes, but, I, I cried you. Like I said, I cried during Pixar movies, because they, they're like pulling on your heartstrings, making you try to like cry, and it's just beautiful, and what Pixar actually does, but anyway, Onward was fantastic, Chris Pratt and uh, Tom Holland in this movie, wow, 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 I'm sorry. I'm trying to oh, I'm Wilson impersonate, but I'm terrible at that. Um, but Onward's a good movie. I enjoy Onward. Um, I, but you should definitely watch it because it's on Disney Plus if you have it anyway. All these movies that I'm talking about is on Disney Plus because Pixar is owned by well, Disney owns Pixar. Yeah, I think you should know that anyway. Uh, number twelve is Ratatouille. I. Love Ratatouille. I like, yeah, I did grow up with this movie. Um, I really enjoy it. I find it really good. Ratatouille is a fantastic movie. Um, I don't know if people hate it, but I love it. Wally is just a fantastic movie that I enjoy. Um, I don't know if people hate it, but I don't. I don't hate it. I enjoy it. It's a good movie that I enjoy. I don't... Yeah, I enjoy it. Um... <laughs> when it was a good enough movie, I enjoy Wally. It's a good movie. I don't know if people hate it or like it, but I absolutely love Wally. It's a great... Was I talking about Bloody Wally? I mean, Ratatouille. God damn it. Ratatouille was fantastic. I just love Ratatouille so much. You should 100% watch Ratatouille. Number 11 is a sequel called Incredibles 2. Yes. This was so close on reaching my number 10 spot, but it got overreached by another movie that I'll tell you, but you have to wait. But anyway, Incredibles was a great sequel. Uh, I was really surprised by this. And the villain for this movie was really good. Uh, this movie, for me, I think it's underrated. Um, because some people, yeah, this movie is definitely underrated. Well, this movie is underrated. Um, but, yeah, it's my opinion. I think it's underrated. People might disagree with me, but that's my opinion. But Incredibles is a great movie. Uh, and even The Incredibles... It's even in my top 10, or the first one, from 2004. Well, you'll get to know what that is, but 
where it is, but yeah, Incredibles 2 is just a great movie that I enjoy. Number 10, um, I have, this movie has surpassed into my top 10. Uh, people should know this, it came out on Christmas Day last year. Yes, it's Soul. Soul's my number 10, I love Soul. It was really surprising, this movie. Surprised that it even got into my top 10. I had no idea it would actually get into my top 10. But wow, this movie is good. Um, I just love uh, Soul. It's such a beautiful movie uh, that people should 100% watch. You will love it. I highly recommend this movie to anyone who has Disney Plus. Um, or any streaming platform, whatever it's on. But you will love it. Um, like, I love it. It's a great movie that I really enjoy. Soul is just a deep and emotional movie. Number nine is... Whew, Inside Out. Um, Inside Out is another fantastic movie. Um, about what goes inside of your... What goes... What goes inside your head? I don't know if that's a great word for it, but... Um, Inside Out is a great movie. I... Really, really, really enjoy it. Inside Out. It's just a great movie. Uh, I did cry in it. Yes, I did. Um, but yeah, this movie is just fantastic. I love uh, Inside Out. You should 100% watch Inside Out. Because you will love Inside Out. I highly recommend this movie to anyone who's watching this video. You need to watch this movie. 100%. Because uh, it's just a fantastic... I love Inside Out so much. Uh, number eight is Up. Yes, Up is my number eight. Um, so the first ten minutes, blummin' emotional. Like, just absolutely emotional. Then the rest of the movie was like a fun adventure type movie, which I love. I think Up is definitely a great movie. I know people think it's like... Um, um, I don't know if people disagree with me, but it's definitely should be deserved in my top 10. Um, I love Up. It's one of my favourite, uh, animation movies. Well, for Pixar. It's just a fantastic movie that I really enjoyed. Didn't hate it. No, I didn't hate Up. It's just a f really good movie. I love it. Yeah, I said it. I love it. I love Up. Just a fantastic movie. Number seven is a start to a franchise. And all of them are in my top ten because I have nostalgia with this franchise. And that is Toy Story 2. Love Toy Story 2. Like, every single Toy Story movie, uh, I just love. They're phenomenal. They're, like, fantastic. And this movie was absolutely fantastic. I love Toy Story uh I was about to say four, two. Uh, the second one's just fantastic. I love, uh, what's his name? Al, is that his name? The villain in it. No, is he the villain? I don't even know that. Al Chickenbine. That person. The quack, quack, that little dude with the glasses. Whatever his name is. He's fantastic. I enjoy him. Uh, Buzz and, uh, Woody's duo. Like, ex like, they're fantastic. I really enjoy them as, like, characters in this movie. And I liked how the storyline, how Woody got kidnapped. And, yeah, I enjoy it. Number six is Toy Story 4. Um, I saw the trailers for this movie and I was not looking forward to it. Because uh, I didn't know how they were going to interpret this movie from how good the ending for the third one was. <laughs> Um, but they did fantastic. I think they did really good, uh, with this movie. I really enjoyed Toy Story 4. Um, I didn't hate it. Well, of course I didn't, because it's in my top 10. But it's just a really good movie. I highly recommend this movie. It's just really good. I, I just love this movie. I, I just love it. It's just fantastic. I don't, I don't know if people hate it. I will be surprised if you actually do. Because none of the Toy Story movies... I hate, because they're all fantastic. This movie is just amazing. I love Toy Story 4. 
I was, oh, I don't know if I'm nostalgic because it came out two years ago, but anyway, it's a great movie. <laughs> and number five we have is Monsters, Inc. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Monsters, Inc. is a fantastic movie. I love Monsters, Inc. One of my favourites. Just love Monsters, Inc. so much. I have so much nostalgia with this movie. And I grew up with this movie because I just love Monsters, Inc. It's a fantastic movie that I absolutely love. And I highly recommend it. Number four is Toy Story 3. Uh, Toy Story 3 is a movie I love from this day. And forward. <laughs> well, from the day it came out to like forever. I just love Toy Story 3. It's such a fantastic movie. I highly recommend this movie to anyone who's watching this. You will first watch the 1 and 2, then watch this one because it will probably spoil. You probably don't know what's happening. But anyway, this one is just fantastic. I love Toy Story 3. You need to watch this movie. Like, seriously, you need to watch it. Number three is Finding Nemo. Um, this movie is great. This was a fantastic movie. I love Finding Nemo. Uh, just fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Uh, do not hate it. I love it. Definitely one of my favourites. Always been my favourite. Always been one of my favourites. Because it's just fun and entertaining to watch. I seriously think this movie is fun and entertaining to watch. Yes, I think it's a great movie. I highly recommend this movie to anyone. Because you will love it. I highly recommend this movie. Tr Finding Nemo is just a great movie that I love from this day. And f well, from when I watched it and then forever. Because it's just a fantastic movie. And uh, number two is, well, a runner-up is Toy Story Toy Story is fantastic. This is what has started this franchise. Well, company or franchise. Toy Story was the one that started this all. Toy Story was the first movie in this franchise. Well, no, not franchise, like company. Well, like, cinematic universe. What do you like to call it? Such a great movie. Just absolutely fantastic. I love Toy Story. This was, it was so hard to choose between this and uh, my number one, because it was so hard. It was like I was like swapping it like every single like minute. Like I was like, should I put it there? Should I put it there? Like it was just really hard to put it. But I stick to it with number two because it's just a fantastic movie. I highly recommend uh, Toy Story. And number one, you should probably know this because uh, it's the movie that I haven't talked about. <laughs> Yes, it's The Incredibles. I love The Incredibles. It is my favourite Pixar movie of all time. This was a fantastic Pixar movie that I loved. Because I'm a huge, like, superhero fan, or comic book fan, what do you really like? whatever you like to call it. And this was just fan-bloody-tastic. I love The Incredibles so much that I highly recommend this movie to anyone. You need to watch this. Like, you seriously need to watch The Incredibles. Like, you will need to watch this. Like, it's a fantastic movie. The Incredibles is, of course, my number one. It's just fantastic. Thank you for listening to my all 23 Pixar movies ranked uh, with Soul. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, have your calendars on for tomorrow. For my old, uh, I will tell you how many I watched. All 100, all 182, 2020 movies I watched ranked. And I have my Wonder Woman 1984 review and Cobra Kai Season 3 review. So I hope you all enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel. We have big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.